So if you take a look at what's in front of you, you see um, two columns, like a plus and a minus. Okay? Everything down that column is in electrical contact. So if you look at the one with the blue right next to it, if you were to plug something in, like a, one of your wires with the male lead into it, into that, that would be in electrical contact with everything below it. Everything in that column would be in electrical contact. Okay? If you were to plug something into the red one, it would be in electrical contact with everything below it in that column. Okay? The plus and the minus right there, those two columns are not in electrical contact with each other. They're separate. All right? See this group of five that's right next to them? They might have, the, might have letters A, B, C, D, E, or F, G, H, F, G, H, I, J. Okay? Those five going across in a row, those are in electrical contact. So if I plug anything into that first little spot, the next four things, if I plug in anything there, would be in electrical contact with what I just plugged in. So you're going across, those things are in electrical contact. Going down, they are not in electrical contact with each other. So if you need something to go you know, touch one thing and have, have the other end touch something else, they need to be in different rows. Across this breaker, okay, that sort of is a break in the line so that these five here are in electrical contact with each other but not with the things below it and not with the things on the other side. And then it just repeats it on the other side. This blue line all the way down, those are in electrical contact. The red line all the way down, those are in electrical contact. OK, so the, the pins that we're going to use, the top left one right here, this pin, you want to plug something into that. The female end gets plugged in there. The next thing I'm going to have you do is if you, you hold on to your temperature sensor such that you've got, um, you can see the writing on there. So, and there is writing on there, I assure you. It says Dallas. Okay. Um, you hold it so that the curved edge is away from you. The top one right there. So what you do is you flip it around so that the curved edge is facing in. One of those prongs goes into each one of these, like so, and goes like that. Next, we need a resistor between the 3.3 volts in and the next one over. So you take your one end of your resistor, put it in that line. The other, other end of the resistor goes in the one directly beneath it. What you do now is you take the second wire and count two away from that. So one, two empty pins, and then put this one down. It's the fourth. You're, it's going directly above something that says GPIO. The other end, the pointy end of that, will go right next to the other wire that you plugged into the breadboard. The next, the last little bit after your second wire is plugged in is you take the, the female end for your, um, your last wire. This will be the ground wire. It goes on the right hand side of the, where all these come down, the right hand side. One, two, three. That's going to be ground. And you plug that into right below the uh, second one you plugged in. So you should have three wires sort of plugged in right next to each other. It'd be in the third pin down. So it's on the right-hand side, third pin down, that's ground. And then it's the third pin down on your breadboard. 